Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another outfit guide. And today we're going to be doing Richard Dick Brewer, Charlie Sheen's character, from the 1980s film Young Guns. So uh, this is one that has been requested quite a few times on the channel and I'm glad to be able to finally do it. So if at any point during this video you find yourself enjoying it, be sure to click that like button to show me that you enjoy it. And also, take the time to go down to the comment section below and leave a request for whatever you want to see next. Could be an outfit guide, could be anything. Could be a different game. I don't care. Just make sure you go down to the comment section and do it. Uh, but with all that in mind, let's just dive on in and start off with Dick Brewer's weapons. All right, and so for starters, we're going to be doing his uh, single action army revolver. So for that, we're going to want the Cattleman revolver. He uses an artillery variant, which is the five inch barrel. So for that, we're going to be using the short barrel on this, improved rifling, improved sights. And we're going to want to put the ebony grips on it to imitate the uh, factory checkered black grips that they had at this time, or at least he has in the movie. So the ebony is the closest we can come to that. Then we're going to do no carvings, no engravings. And for metals, we're going to try to imitate his. Now his is obviously a replica which is common for westerns filmed in the 1980s so it's not as accurate as it could be but the one he's using in the movie is blued with a slight different color on the frame so instead of being more standard like it would be back in you know an actual historical firearms from this period which would be the uh, gunmetal blued which would be kind of a cross but it's mostly black but with like a bluish tint and then the frame would almost certainly be color case hardened that would have been real common historically but in the movie charlie sheen's character is using one that's like i said it's it's a pretty stereotypical replica from from the 80s so for that we're going to be doing the blued steel because they were quite a bit more blued uh these replicas for the barrel the cylinder the hammer the sight and the trigger and then the frame is still a slightly different color even though it's not color case hardened it's usually a little bit lighter to try to imitate that I assume and for that we're going to be going with the blackened steel so this is a decently close approximation of what Charlie Sheen's gun looks like in uh, Young Guns so that's his handgun all right and then uh, at another point in the movie Dick Brewer can be seen wielding a Winchester 73 rifle and the one that he's using is decently typical of the period uh, or at least looks pretty similar to at least what they uh what they were often made to look like and so we're going to use a darker varnish on this i use the mahogany varnish dark walnut or a lot of different ones would work but the mahogany varnish is the closest to the factory finish uh and then we're not going to be having a scope or any wrap on it or anything no engravings no carvings and you make up the metal just like this to make it look basically exactly like his does from the movie so we're going to use the blackened steel for the barrel the frame and the lever and then the hammer and the sight are going to be browned steel because they're slightly brighter and the trigger is just going to be iron because as was typical on a lot of these replicas the trigger is just kind of silverish looking so that is the uh winchester 73 that charlie sheen uses during young guns so that's both the guns are going to be looking at let's go check out his outfit all right and so here we have the outfit and i think it turned out great it looks an awful lot like him from the movie now it's kind of hard uh the picture i used in the thumbnail that i'll be using to compare is the one of this outfit but of course it's like a from the side black and white picture so it's not as easy to tell i based this off of this the shot where they're all standing up on the hill and you can see him clearly in this outfit so that's how i got it and i think it matches it basically perfectly so i love this outfit i think it turned out great but he also wears a different outfit throughout the movie which is basically just this outfit without the jacket i think for the most part i think that's really the only change so you can do both of his iconic outfits from the movie with this outfit just one with the jacket and one without. But with all that in mind, uh, as far as hair and facial hair goes, he's clean shaven in the movie, but I did keep the uh, facial stubble on to kind of make him look a little bit more trail worn. I think it helps a little bit. And then slightly longer hair, I went with the windswept hairstyle and I did the black coloration on that because Charlie Sheen's hair is black. So I think it matches his hair and facial hair pretty dang well. So now let's go through the items that make up this outfit. So for the hat, I think the best option is the black Cayuga hat. And now it's obviously not perfect because the one he's wearing in the movie appears it's it's slightly different he's got a stereotypical hollywood cowboy hat in the movie and we don't have anything that matches it super well uh i guess the the other option would be the grizzly's hat from the grizzly outlaw uh outfit is pretty similar to his but i think the cayuga hat matches it a little bit better because of the way that the brim bends so with the grizzly's hat it's more up on one side and tilts down on the other kind of slanting forward in the front uh and this one it doesn't it the, so the crown of this one looks a little bit less like his from the movie but uh the brim of the hat looks better because it, it stays pretty consistent along the sides sloping down in the front and in the back so if you could mash up the grizzly's hat take like the crown part off of the grizzly's hat and put it on this one it would be flawless uh but either way i think the cayuga hat is the best option and of course it's a dark black hat so we're going to be going with the black variant so that's the hat so next we have the bandana and in the movie his is like a either real dark blue or black one with a bunch of little white spots on it uh and so there's a couple options that i considered that had some 
spots, but they were all a little bit too clean looking and a little, you know, they had other designs on them. So I think the best option is to go with the 14th variant of the plain bandana, this just black one. It's a little bit wore down and you can see the color is like missing or much lighter in certain spots. And I think that helps to imitate what it looked like in the movie without looking brand new. So that's why I went with this one. Otherwise, there are some other options for black bandanas that would work perfectly fine. I just think that this variant looks the best with the outfit and uh, doesn't look too new. So that's the bandana. For the coat, uh, the obvious option is the first variant of the Brakeman jacket. It looks basically exactly like his does from the movie. It's got about the right length to it. The color is right. The way that the lapels sit is right. So this jacket is basically perfect. For the vest, we're going to be going with the 15th variant of the opulent vest. Uh, it looks a lot like the vest that he wears during the movie does. Now, during some scenes, he's got it open, and during some, he's got it closed. Obviously, we can't open it, so the, the closed version's the only one that we've got. But like I said, I think this matches his vest from the movie pretty much perfect, or at least as close as we can get out of all of the available vest options. So that's his vest. For the shirt, we have the 19th variant of the everyday shirt, and this is actually pretty dang close to the one he wears in the movie. So he wears a white shirt with some thinner stripes on it like this that have a little bit bit of a flare out in certain points this one's a little bit more extreme but it does match it pretty much perfectly so you know awesome the shirt works fine and so like i said for that second outfit all you're gonna do is just take the jacket off but yeah so that's the shirt for the gloves uh he wears lighter tannish gloves and the cav cavalry gloves look pretty much perfect for it uh especially because when you take the jacket off they go up over the sleeve which is how his look in the movie when he's not wearing the jacket so that's why i think the uh that this light tan variant of the cavalry gloves is the best way to go for the weapon equipment it's pretty simple. We just use the black variant of the gunslinger gun belt, and it's almost exactly like the one he wears in the movie. It matches it pretty dang close to being perfect. Then for the pants, the first variant of the studded pants, these kind of worn out, dirty, black looking ones are essentially perfect. They match it. They look really, really well, uh, or they match the outfit really, really well, and they look good. So uh, those are the pants to go with. Any any kind of dirtyish black pants would be fine as long as they're not too baggy, uh, but I think these ones are the best option. For the boots, as always, try to keep it as simple as possible and match them the best we can, and the worn rope boots are basically perfect for it and the sixth variant of them the clean black ones are the best option for the worn ropers boots and of course wear these under the pants and finally we have the western rider spurs for his spurs and the ninth variant of them match the boots really well and therefore look pretty good at the outfit and match the style of the ones from the movie decently well and so that is the outfit so like i said uh, I think it turned out really, really well. And of course, as always, uh, the other outfit, like I said, is just taking the coat off. And so that's what it looks like without the coat. And I, I think that looks really good too. So this is not only an outfit that I think we were able to match with the, the one from the movie very, very well. Like it looks just like it does in the movie, but I also just think it's a really cool outfit either way with or without the jacket. So yeah, uh, if you're one of the people that re uh, requested that I do Dick Brewer, because I know I saw it multiple times on videos, hopefully this satisfies you. Like I said, the hat, if you go with the uh the uh i think in the single player it's called big valley but if you go with the grizzlies outlaw hat uh that works too because the top of the hat the crown part you know the part that your head goes into looks more like his hat from the movie for that one but the brim for this one for the cayuga hat looks better so yeah that's the outfit in its entirety i love it i think it turned out great but that's where we're going to be ending today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope if you're a fan of Young Guns, or you're one of the people that requested this, or if you just wanted to find a nice-looking, creative outfit that doesn't look quite as try-hardy as most people's do, you know, in, in Red Dead, I hope this video uh, helped you with one of those goals. Uh, but with all that in mind, if you like this video, like I said at the beginning, be sure to click that like button. It shows me and, you know, everyone else that the video is good. That is kind of the whole point of the like feature. Uh, so definitely click that button if the video was not terrible. And of course, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or what I like to see the most is requests for future videos, definitely go down to the comments section and leave all of that below. And lastly, if you like this content and haven't already subscribed to the channel, please, you know, show your support by doing so now. Uh, it doesn't take very long, it's totally free, and it's the only way you'll ever stay up to date on my content, as YouTube isn't uh, too keen on recommending out my content. So with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end, because I greatly appreciate that. But uh, that's all for today, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.